Kerala is on high alert as a deadly infection known as the brain eating amoeba has claimed 19 lives and infected over 69 people this year alone. Known medically as primary amoebic meningocephalitis or PAM, this rare brain infection is spreading rapidly, but early treatment is saving lives. Primary amoebic meningocephalitis or PAM is caused by a microscopic organism called Nigleria foleri. Often found in warm fresh water and soil, the amoeba enters the brain through the nose during swimming, bathing or diving. Once in the brain, it causes rapid inflammation leading to severe neurological symptoms and in many cases death within days. Symptoms of PAM can appear anywhere from 1 to 9 days after exposure. Early signs include headache, fever, nausea and vomiting. As the infection progresses, patients may experience stiff neck, confusion, hallucination, seizures and loss of balance. Without early intervention, the disease often leads to coma and death within 1 to 18 days. 69 confirmed cases 19 deaths as of now in kerala due to brain eating amoeba why this is uh, this particular infection is challenging and what kind of caution it requires because yes. such cases uh, you know reported every year <clears throat> but this year we can say the upsurge in cases why this is happening sir this is a, not a new infection and it does not spread from person to person uh the reason why there are more cases reported this year is because kerala is doing additional tests for people who come with symptoms of brain infection see someone with headache fever and vomiting should be tested for brain infection but when testing for brain infection uh they tap a they put a needle in the spine and take a uh, take some fluid out and send it for testing kerala has been uh, subjecting this to additional tests that is basically what's called a wet mount which is a direct uh, look under the microscope uh, looking for amoeba so they've been finding amoeba uh, in some cases of uh, brain infection so therefore the total number seems larger but it's a case of more diagnosis rather than more cases While PAM has a global fatality rate over 95%, Kerala has improved survival to around 24 to 30%. The state uses miltefacin in combination with amphotericin B and other supportive care. Early diagnosis, ICU care and intensive monitoring have made this rare success possible. Nigleria foleri thrives in warm fresh water, stagnant ponds, lakes, and unchlorinated swimming pools infection occurs when contaminated water enters the nose rising temperature pollution and climate change may be contributing to the recent surge in cases prevention is key avoid swimming or bathing in untreated fresh water use nose clips or keep your head above water For nasal rinsing, only use boiled and cooled, distilled or sterile water. Swimming pools, wells and household tanks should be properly chlorinated. Open wounds should be covered and contact lens users must follow strict hygiene. The recent ca- cases has also shed a light on how difficult it has become to make a containment and prevention of these cases. Yes, these amoebae are all around us. They are part of our environment. They are called free-living amoebae. There are hundreds of species, of which only three or four are linked with human disease. Now, it's difficult to say which amoeba is present where. But amoeba is present all around us. If you look at the soil, if you look at any water source, even our water pipes, inside the water pipes, there's a slime. There's a slimy layer called biofilm inside our water pipes where bacteria and amoebae and algae will live. and in our water tanks in ponds rivers streams swimming pools everywhere so while it's important to chlorinate and keep swimming pools and other water bodies clean what is more important is not to put water inside our noses see some people have a habit of flushing their nose with water the nose is designed by nature for passage of air 
that is breathing. It is not meant to take water inside. If water is pushed inside the nose, forcefully especially, it can get trapped inside the small chambers inside the nose. The nose is not just the two openings here. There is a large cavity inside which is very close to the brain. So if dirty water containing amoebae gets inside, sometimes the amoeba can burrow through the nose, through the top of the nose into the brain. See, the cavity of the brain is separated from the cavity of the nose by a very thin bone. It's only a few millimeters thick, which means the amoeba is knocking on the dose of the brain if you take water into your nose. So while taking water into the nose doesn't cause brain infection all the time, it increases your risk. So the moral of the story is, don't put water in your nose. If you go swimming, try to keep your head above the water. And do not play underwater games or kick the mud up in the pond because the amoeba lives in the mud. And if ch when children play, they make a lot of games in the in the in the pool and also in the in the pond. They kick all the silt up, and along with this, a lot of amoeba that were lying quietly will come up into the water, and that increases the chance of water entering the nose. And uh, to people who have a habit of putting water inside their noses, I'll say, don't do it. And if you do it, if you really want to do it, consult a qualified doctor before you want to do that. Kerala's proactive measures show that early detection, proper treatment and public awareness can save lives even against this deadly infection. Health authorities urge the public to stay vigilant, follow safety guidelines and seek immediate medical attention if symptoms appear after fresh water exposure. Welcome to Money Control, your ultimate destination in the ever-evolving world of finance, business, markets, policy and technology. India's preeminent news platform, driven by facts and fueled by data. A platform made in India, for India and for the world. Moneycontrol.com has a staggering reach of 100 million plus monthly active users and 6.02 million daily active users. Being a transformative digital force, reshaping how we engage with money, markets and news. Setting us apart is our commitment to delivering accurate information and empowering financial decision-making in a dynamic ecosystem. Seeking a deeper dive into the financial realm, we present Money Control Pro, a powerhouse of exclusive insights, providing actionable investment ideas and expert analysis. Because in today's fast-paced world, informed decisions demand both information and expertise. And we have 1 million plus Money Control Pro total paid subscribers and 100% return in 1.5 years, beating the market. Explore market trends, access expert opinions and utilize essential financial tools all at your fingertips. Join the millions who trust moneycontrol.com for their financial journey, where facts meet finance and data drives decisions. Think markets, think money control.